my manifesto. I consider doing things to please people, but then I'm shaken back into reality by the old woman inside me who never allows that type of perversion. I am open-minded, but not closed-mouthed. I choose to speak my truth, and other people's discomfort about my truth is not, and will never be, mine to carry. I care deeply, yet I do not allow myself to be manipulated by other people's definitions of caring. I recognize oppression in all forms, especially when it is disguised as love. I decide what is worth speaking up for and what invites my silence. I take full responsibility for the experience I am having. I am both bold and afraid. I doubt myself, but I am equipped with the knowledge of honoring my truth over my doubts. I am trustworthy. Some songs feel like prayers to me. And so music is my form of church. And in this church, the spirits of my ancestors, my inner little girl, and my old woman self converge and conspire in favor of love and light. I define my reality, and I recognize how uncomfortable that can be for others. Still, I remain me. I believe in apologies, and only I confirm when they are due. For me, that is the only way they can be genuine. I revere gratitude. I give it openly, and I expect it. I'm not a people person, but I am open and expressive within my tribe. My tribe consists of men and women who roam but are not lost, who chant and pray but claim no religion, who are spiritual and nurturing and conjure God through words and wailing. Ultimately, I just want to honor the energies that came together to create whatever it is that I am. And I feel most aligned with that want when I write, when I dance, and when I speak up for and as myself, no matter how nervous or new I am to that moment. <laughs>